Yo yo, so with the recent release of the San Andreas Mercenaries DLC, there's a lot of new content out right now. And in this video, we're gonna be going over the best money methods to make you millions this week in GTA Online. Now, before we start with the new money methods, I wanna go over a brand new feature that can potentially make you some more money as well. If you press start on your controller and go over to the career tab, select it and go on over to the reward section. This is sort of like a GTA Online battle pass that Rockstar just dropped with the brand new DLC. For completing certain tasks, you can unlock rewards, whether that be clothing items, liveries, RP, or even some fat stacks of cash. Now, in order to get these rewards, you'll have to complete the tasks over in the progress tab of this career progress section. There's so many different sections and tiers to complete, so I would check it out if you want some extra cash. The only drawback to this brand new feature is that it's only available to next gen players. So if you're on an Xbox Series X or S or a PlayStation 5, then this will be available to you. But if you're on a PS4, Xbox One, or PC, then unfortunately this won't be available to you. For our first actual money method, we're starting off with the standard time trial. This week, the location of the standard time trial is over at Mount Chiliad. Now, this is a great money method for beginners, as all you need for it is a motor cycle. I managed to beat this week's standard time trial with the Batty 801 which only cost you $15,000 over on Southern San Andreas. But this is a pretty tough time trial, I'm not gonna lie. So if you have the money for it, I'd highly recommend investing in a much faster motorcycle. You can check out some of my recommendations in my time trial money guide that I'll have linked down below in the description. Now once you get to the purple time trial area, there's something you want to do before actually starting it up. I'm gonna recommend as always that you get as close to the edge of it as you can. While doing this, you want to make sure that you can still see the option to start up the time trial in the top left of your screen. What doing this is gonna do is give you just a little bit of a head start when starting up the time trial and make sure you face the same direction that I was in the footage on screen and now once you're in position just go ahead and start up the actual time trial now like I said earlier this one is pretty difficult so it's going to take some trial and error for sure but essentially the path you're going to want to take is just cut through the mountains and make your way up until you reach the path to Mount Chiliad then once you're on the path just go ahead and follow it the rest of the way to the destination now I don't know who at Rockstar decided to put the destination on top of this little weird ass hill because it was a bitch trying to get up there what I personally did was wheelie off of one of the rocks at the bottom and it launched me up on top which was great but I don't think this comes down to skill it's more of like a luck thing so yeah but anyways once you complete the standard time trial you're gonna make a hundred and one thousand dollars now for the second money method we're moving on to the main attraction of the new dlc which is the operations terminal the way you get this is by purchasing an avenger if you don't already have one and getting the operations terminal upgrade with it this upgrade alone is going to cost you 1.5 million dollars which yes i know it's a lot now once you own an avenger you can call it over to you by opening up your interaction menu going over to services avenger and requesting your avenger once you're inside of your avenger you're gonna want to look for the operations terminal right over here once you register as a boss and log into it, there's going to be two ways to make money with it. The first method is by doing Project Overthrow. Now, Project Overthrow is a series of six story type missions revolving around the new DLC. They're pretty straightforward and not too bad to complete, except for On Parade. I absolutely hate that mission. You got to be a pro with jets in this game to beat that mission first try, like holy shit. But for completing all six of the missions, you're going to make a little over $100,000. Plus, you'll be rewarded $250,000 as a first time bonus, so that's pretty cool. However, the best way to make money from the operations terminal is through LSA Operations. Now, on this screen, you'll see these three missions set up in pretty pretty similar fashion to the agency security contracts. All three of them are really easy to complete, so just pick whichever one is paying the most for you. Now, while you're doing this, hold right on your D-pad and you'll be able to see the operation bonus. Once again, this is kind of similar to the agency with the assassination bonus for payphone hits, but just follow whatever it tells you to do and you'll make $15,000 in addition to the original payment. Right here, it wanted me to take a photo of these blueprints and send them over to Charlie, which was really easy to do. These missions take about like 10 minutes or so to complete, and from this one, I made $78,500. And even though I do like these LSA operation missions, I don't think they're worth the expense of ass investment of buying an Avenger and the operations terminal upgrade, but once you do have some money established in the future, this is definitely a pretty cool money method to mess around with. Now, for our fourth money making method, we have the RC Bandito time trial. This money method was recently given a huge buff in the new DLC. So, unlike the two other time trials in the game, the RC Bandito time trial can now be done daily as opposed to weekly. This, of course, means much more money to be made here, which makes the RC Bandito time trial much more worth the investment. We'll go over the new payout in just a bit, but first, let's go over how to complete it. First of all, you're gonna need to own an Arena World Workshop as well an RC Bandito before you can get started with this time trial. Once you have all that, you're going to want to look for this icon on your map. Now, once you arrive at the destination of the RC Bandito time trial, just walk into the purple area and press right on your D-pad to start it. And the way that these work is pretty much like a typical race where you go through checkpoints, but this has to be done in a certain amount of time. Now, let me give you guys some tips on doing these. The biggest one I can give you is just to be patient with these. You're more than likely going to suck ass when you first start one, especially if you've done a certain one before. So just learn from each attempt how to turn and how to approach, and eventually you'll end up passing it. They really just take practice. That's the best advice I can give you. Another tip I can give you guys are to not slam the brakes when doing these. The handling on the RC Bandito is pretty crazy, so I would just take it easy when you're doing these. Instead of just slamming the brakes on turns, I take my finger off the right trigger as I'm getting closer to the turn and then just simply turn. Like in other words, don't apply any gas to this thing when turning and just let it ease into turns. If you get one where there's a bunch of NPCs in your path, just be extra cautious. I cannot tell you guys how many times I've lost my shit over these NPCs getting in the way of my RC Bandito, especially when I'm doing really good on one, like bruh. But yeah, just definitely be careful when doing these. Anyways, once you finally manage to beat one, 
one, you're going to make right around $76,000. And yeah, I know these used to pay out $100,000 before the new DLC. But remember that these can now be done daily as opposed to weekly. So if I made that same $76,500 every day, that would come out to $535,000 a week, as opposed to the $100,000 you would make before from just one, which is awesome. Now for my favorite way to make money this week, we've got the air quota adversary mode. Just like with the standard time trial, this is great for beginners as it requires absolutely nothing. In order to start it up, you're going to want to press start, go to online, jobs, play job, rockstar created adversary modes, then select any of the air quota adversary modes. So the way this adversary mode works is pretty much like a deathmatch, but with jets instead of being on feet. Every six kills that a team gets, they change it to a different type of jet, which gets better and better over time. Whoever has the most kills or is at a higher playing class will win the round. Now I had a lot of fun with this adversary mode and I don't think I've ever played it either if I'm being honest, but yeah, like I'm not really the best with jets or just aircrafts in general in this game. And this served as some pretty good practice for that. I made this one dude rage a lot in this match and he had his mic on, so that was obviously pretty fun. Anyway, for winning two rounds, of air quota, I made $116,000. Highly recommend doing this one if you want to make some money while also having a lot of fun because hey, that's ultimately what this game's all about. Now for our last money method, we're going to be doing the HSW time trial. This week, you can find it on the map over in East Vinewood. Now this time trial is only available to next gen players. So anybody on Xbox Series X or S or PlayStation 5 have access to this HSW time trial. But if you have a PS4, Xbox One or a PC, then unfortunately you won't be able to complete this one. Once you get to the purple time trial icon, go ahead and start up the time trial. Once you do, you want to open up your map and look for the yellow destination icon which is right over here by the beach. Just set a waypoint on that then back out of the map, pull up your phone and quit the time trial. Now I'm going to once again recommend that you get as close to the edge of it as you can while facing in the direction of the destination. While doing this you want to make sure that you can still see the option to start up the time trial in the top left of your screen. Once again this is to help give you a little head start on the time trial. And now once you're in position just go ahead and start up the actual time trial. Now just like with most other HSW time trials this one is pretty straightforward and easy to complete. Just make sure you follow the waypoint on your mini map and you should be able to beat this one without any issues. Although I prefer using a motorcycle for time trials, when it comes to the HSW time trial, almost any HSW vehicle you use should be able to complete this. They're really fast vehicles, so even if you crash or fall off of your bike, you should still be able to beat the part time on this. Anyways, once I managed to beat this HSW time trial, I made $251,000, which is insane for something that took just a little over a minute to beat. Now, while the new DLC did bring us some okay content, it doesn't really beat any of the current money methods we already had. An even better investment in GTA Online is the nightclub, as you can make millions from it passively. If that sounds interesting, the old definitely want to click on the video on screen right now.